So, you're checking out the Pixlinger and you're not sure which model to get. I'm here to help you. We'll take a look at the whole line and I'll explain what I feel are the, you know, um, benefits of each one. And hopefully that'll help you sort through the different Pixlingers that are available. So, firstly, this one here is my custom made Pixlinger. And I know that if you contact Pixlinger, they'll be able to hook you up at uh, pixlinger.com. They'll be able to hook you up with whatever custom needs you may have. Uh, this has a cool skull on it and it has, you know, red and black. Uh, kind of, you know, a thing that I wanted it in the color scheme and everything. And uh, that's what I ended up with. So let's take a look at the uh, three available Pixlingers uh, I guess the uh, production line of Pixlingers. So let's take a look. So right now there are three different Pixlinger models available. There's the original Pixlinger, the Pixlinger 2, the Pixlinger Elite, and there's a new Pixlinger Nano that I don't have yet, but these are the three that I have right now. Uh, so Let's push those aside. In the beginning, someone invented the guitar pick, and it was good. And then, you know, I don't know, 80 years later or something, Pixlinger came along and upgraded the pick. So what this is, is, I'm sure, you know, if you're here to decide what Pixlinger you want, you're already familiar with what a Pixlinger is, but it goes on your finger like this, slings out of the way so you can finger pick or whatever, or, you know, write a note for a student or, uh, you know, a letter to your mom, you know, mom, I miss you, love you guys, please send money, whatever you need to do, and then bam, you're right back to uh, picking away. So that's what the Pixlinger is. So this is the Pixlinger, the original, and I like it. It's nice and sturdy. It holds the pick in a good solid position. I like it for, um, I really like it for bass. If I'm playing bass, this is what I use. Uh, if I'm playing guitar and I'm really just kind of pounding out, you know, big loud chords, this is the pick slinger that I go for. So at some point, the pick slinger people invented the pick slinger 2. As you can see, the, the leg on it, Pixlinger 2 here, is much thinner. This here is pretty solid. It's bendable, you know, you can adjust it however you want it. But it's pretty solid once you have it in place. Okay, this definitely has a lot of flex to it, a lot of give to it. Okay, it gets up out of the way. It feels lighter. It feels a little sort of gentler. I prefer this for uh, gentle strumming, acoustic, gentle acoustic type strumming, um, maybe, you know, arpeggiating chords and stuff like that. It's nice. It f flexes a little bit sort of, um, I don't know, I guess laterally this way, uh, that, the other, that the original one doesn't do as well, you know, but the original one is much more solid. You know, this flexes. So if you want it solid, you go with the first one. If you want something with a little bit of flex, you go with this one here. So this is the Pixlinger 2. And, you know, of course, you can um, get different picks 
Uh, it comes with, you know, a few different picks. You can certainly specifically ask for different um, types of picks, different materials, different uh, gauges, thicknesses, and all that. So that's the Pixlinger 2. Then we have the Pixlinger Elite. Okay, and this, not only is it, you know, a nice looking little pick with the gray and the blue and the silver. And again, you know, you can contact Pixling and have these, you know, customized and all of that stuff. They'll work with you and hook you up. Okay, so this, as you can see, it's of course smaller than the Pixlinger 2. And as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the original Pixlinger. But what I like most about it is, okay, the leg's nice and sturdy, but then you get down to here, and there's the little, uh, this sort of rubber contraption that holds the pick on, and it really flexes. It flexes, if you can see, it flexes this direction, it flexes this direction, it flexes, you know, side to side, twists, and all of that stuff. Okay, it always comes right back. So I like this for just basically all around, everyday playing. The way that I play, I'm constantly pivoting the pick a little bit. Okay, it's hard to see. You know, I guess if I go like that, you can see I sort of pivot the pick, you know, this way. And it's not a matter of just twisting my wrist. I'm actually pivoting it on my finger with my thumb and definitely, you know, this way, sort of, you know, it's, it's, hard to just, it's hard to explain, trust me. This is the one if you're constantly adjusting your pick to get different tones and different um, feels and different everything, volumes, uh, just from your picking, this is the one. This is the Pixlinger Elite. So, sort of to recap all of this, okay, we have the original Pixlinger, which I like for um, general purpose strumming, uh, playing bass, definitely. It's just, it's a good workhorse kind of a pick if you're not real um, finicky about your picks and everything, then this would be the one to go with. It's a good, solid, sturdy, you know, strong pick slinger. This is the one if you like a little lighter um, touch, a little lighter feel, you know, maybe you pick a little gentler, a little more strumming, not so heavy handed. You know, I tend to be fairly heavy handed. Uh, but for lighter stuff, this is great. And then for all around, this is kind of like sort of the best of both worlds, at least for me. Uh, but what I really like is I'm extremely finicky about everything, all of my gear, everything. Um, you know, strings, guitars, pickups, effects, amplifiers, everything needs to be just exactly how I want it. This is the pick that works best for me all around. So the three pick slingers, and to be perfectly honest, I use all three of them. You know, I'm not saying like, this is the one that I use. This is the one that I use when I'm going to just play like me. If I just want to just play my thing, how I sound, how I play, this works best for me. But if I'm playing bass, this is definitely the one. If I'm pounding out, you know, just like Ramon's songs or something, you know, this is definitely the one I would go for. You know, this one, a little too much flex in it, a little too much um, give for something as heavy-handed. Um, if I'm going with something, you know, lighter and strumming and arpeggiating chords and I'm not going to go back and forth and all of that, then this is definitely the one that I go for. So, three different pick slingers. Hope this helps you figure out which ones you need. I would recommend all three of them. Uh, if you needed to get one, I would definitely get the two, and I would get either the Elite or the Original. You know, whichever one you think. If you're a little more 
sort of meat and potatoes than this one here. If you're a little more finicky and, you know, everything has to be just right, just how you want it, then this is the one for you. So hope this helps. And if you have any questions, certainly put, put a comment down below and I'll respond. And uh, check out www.pickslinger.com. So hope this helps.